All right, guys, so for this video, we're going to be working on the frame. So let's just jump into it. So let's start off in a front view, but let's start off by turning on our reference images here. And we're going to start at the top left corner of this uh, area right here. So let's go to create a sketch. And let's use our famous two point rectangle here. And let's start from where these two uh, corners will intersect if it, there was no fillet. So about right here. And let's bring it to the middle bottom. So we can mirror this later and let's just right click hit OK and let's drag this down so it matches the reference a bit better. Now we can go to create mirror and let's just grab this top line here, this side line and the bottom line and for the mirror line here let's click this and let's grab that center point. Let's hit OK and now we'll just select both of these and let's just press pull these. So let's go to the side view here on the left side and let's just pull this back a little bit let's pull it to about here and let's also turn on uh, two sides here so we can grab this white arrow and slide this to the front and you can see why uh, we're not using a uh, symmetric here because they're not the same size so let's hit new body and let's check this out so let's go back to the top view here and let's just start creating a sketch now we could use a two-point rectangle but I just prefer to use the offset here. And let's just grab this outer line and just pull this inwards to about here. That looks good. So it rests between the, the sketch. And let's just press pull this down so we can create a new body that we can which later use as a boolean. So let's just turn this off so you can see these two bodies here. We're just going to boolean these two objects together. So let's combine and we're going to change it to cut and hit OK. And this should be really familiar to you guys. Sorry it's been so long since I recorded, but I'm back, guys. Sorry. So now I think we can go to the side view. Let's just select this surface here and let's create a sketch. Now let's use our two point rectangle. And we're going to start somewhere around here. And let's just bring this all the way, extending past the reference. Now we're going to use this little blackout area and we're going to press pull this all the way through the other half. So let's go to the front view. Let's pull this all the way through. And let's ensure we set this to new body, not cut. Because just so you guys can see what happened, why I create new bodies. Because if I don't create a new body and I just set this to cut, this is what will happen you'll cut through everything that that body is actually intersecting with. So you'll actually cut through that body. And that's why I always set it to new body. So you guys can see that it's, it's missing. Just so for those who are wondering why I always set it to new, new body, that's why set it to new body. And then we just go to combine and I always combine the main body with the part I want to take away. And that makes a cut. So back in the back view here, let's turn on this reference here for the back. And let's create a sketch, select that surface. Now we're going to use a two point rectangle once again. And somewhere around here, just so this has a little area, so it looks like it's manufactured. So it has a nice placement. So let's go to the center line here. Once we're satisfied, we're going to right click it. OK, and let's set another mirror. So we've got the top the side and the bottom and for that mirror line always that center point now we can left click and hold till we get to the profile selection and we'll just repeat that now we can press pull these both together so it intersects through the top area let's set this to new body and now you guys understand why I'm combining these instead of just cutting through all right that's good so let's do one more cut here. So from this reference, it's kind of hard to see, but let's start from right here with the two point rectangle. And let's just bring this to the center right here. And we're going to mirror this also just to ensure that everything is nice and symmetrical. Center line, hit OK. Now we can select these both and just press pull these through that surface. New body, hit OK. Now let's combine these to get that nice cut out there. 
Now that matches the reference. Now let's work on this bottom. So here in the front view, guys, let's create another sketch. So from this top left corner where, if that fillet wasn't there, well, where that corner would be. We can go all the way here to the bottom right. I could also went to the center just to ensure that it's symmetrical, but I'll just, I'll eye this. And I can also uh, just mirror it later on if I do see some issue. So let's just press pull this. Let's go to the side. Let's turn on this side reference. Let's pull this forward. And let's also set it from one side to two sides. And we'll just pull this back. And it doesn't matter which one, which arrow, which way you pull the arrow because you still have the option of changing them separately. Now we have this go in the front view. Let's create another sketch here. And let's just create another two point rectangle. It goes from this corner to the center. And what I'll do is just mirror this. And everything I said, like I said in the last video guys, it's really, uh, it's just repetition. You're just doing the same thing over and over. So it builds that muscle memory. And there's a million other ways you can go about doing this. You don't have to follow my exact method, but it's just simpler, in my opinion. I'm gonna combine this. I'm just gonna cut this. Oh, I didn't select that. Let me go back and select this. Now here, I'm gonna create a sketch on this. And let's just start from this corner. And there's no exact way to do this, so I'm just kind of eyeing this, uh, how I think it should be cut. And the reference that I am using is a previous model that I created myself. So it's really just what I think should go where. <laughs> Let's set this new body. I'm just going to combine these two, get that nice cut. And we're making great time here. Let's just throw a couple of materials on here. So don't forget the hotkey for that is A, guys. To bring up the materials I'm just dragging and dropping now we can start adding some fillets in some of the corners where they belong but I will chamfer this to get that sharp corner here like to match the, the inside body now we can hit F on the keyboard to bring up fillet and we can just fillet these corners here let's fillet these as well Let's rotate around the back, see if we can grab this. Yeah, and let's just push this to about here. That looks good. Let's fill it to the top as well. So hit F again, and we'll just grab these center corners, these interior corners here. And it does matter which which fillets you fill it first. The order does matter. So let me grab these corners now. And the reason I grab the corners is so when I do a fillet later on on the top, and the top inner and outer areas, it fills the whole thing as one. So now if I hit F once again, I can fill it these all together and create that giant roundness. You see? And we, let's just fill it the bottom and any other areas as well because like we know in real life, nothing is 100% sharp no matter how sharp it looks. It adds to better realism where there's uh, little rounds off, rounded off edges. So that pretty much wraps up this video, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one.